Sa simulat simula pa lang, this is the first point. God created us so that we can have fellowship with Him. When God created all of creation, God created so much, you can read it again, Genesis chapter 1, Genesis chapter 2, that God created everything that you see out there. He created the heavens, He created the earth, He created the plants, the trees, all of these, He created the animals on the earth, He created the animals in the air, He created everything. Pero sa lahat ng creation na yan, you remember that God, whenever He created something, He created something out of nothing. It's all ex nihilo, out of nothing. He just spoke the word and there was. Let there be and there was. Let there be light, there was light. Let there be animals, there were animals. Let there be fish, there were fish. Let there be birds, there were birds. But there was a special creation of God. That special creation, God did not just speak the word to create it. Hindi siya nagsabi na, let there be man, and there was man. This is what God did. Kumuha siya ng lupa, and then He formed yung lupa na yan with His own hands. Thus, the fingerprint of God. He formed man with His own hands. And as if that was not enough, to tell everybody else in this creation, ah, oh, you man, human beings, they're special because I created them with my own hands. As if that was not enough, God even breathed into man the breath of life. Have you ever thought about this? That of all the world's religions, of all the world's religions, be it Islam, be it Buddhism, be it Confucianism, be it Taoism, or whatever isms, only Christianity is the faith that gives people a special relationship with God. Walang ibang religion na makakapagsabi niya that ever since I, 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 I embraced Jesus as my Lord and Savior, ever since I embraced His faith, I had a special relationship with God. Walang ganon. All other religions are just hoping that they will make it to God, eventually making it to heaven. But the promise of Jesus is, you come to me, you will have a special relationship with me. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Whoever hears my voice opens the door. I will come in to him and eat with him and he with me. What does that speak of? Ang sabi ni Jesus, papasukin mo lang ako, let me into that door, into that door of your heart. The moment I come in, I'm gonna eat with you. I'm gonna fellowship with you. Sino sa inyo, makikikain, maski kami-kami na lang. He says, you let me into your heart, I'll eat with you. And you with me. That speaks of fellowship. That's the design of God. So, God wants to have a special relationship with us, fellowshipping with us. And it's the first benefit that God, when He created man, He designed that we be in constant, consistent, 24-7 fellowship with Him. But something happened. Alam na natin yun. Nagkasala si Eva at si Adan. At nung nagkasala si Eva at si Adan, immediately God had to close Eden. You, you know the story. Genesis chapter 3. Let's all go there. All right? Genesis chapter 3, verses 22 to 24. It says here, The Lord God said, The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand, take also from the tree of life, and eat and live forever. Hindi pwede. Now, for those who may not know why God did that, some people will think, but not ganun si God? Sana binigay na niya tree of life. No! Had God allowed that man will reach out to the fruit of the tree of life, nakakain siya nun, that will mean that he is living in sin and that he will not die? That means that he will be for eternity a beast. Somebody who's beyond redemption. The tree of life will give someone eternal life. But the problem is, man will have eternal life apart from God. Kaya sabi ni God, bago niya maabot yung fruit of the tree of life, isa na namin yun. It's better for him to die. At least when he dies, there can be redemption. 
God is still wise. He's wisest above everybody else. And so God tells the angel, he tells the cherub, Isabayan, verse 23, so the Lord God banished him from the garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. After he drove the man out, he placed on the east side of the garden of Eden cherubim and the flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to the tree of life. Hindi po pinagdadamot ni Lord of Tree of Life. Matter of fact, His desire is that all of us will have a part in that Tree of Life. Makikita niyan, when we get to heaven, you'll see the Tree of Life. 